Why? Because you got your face banged over with your shank in your hand. Oh, you. what? You got your face banged over with your shank in your hand. Right there, this is your enemy. Your brother with this skin is not your enemy. Make do of where you're from. Like, not everywhere is meant to be glamorous and all of that. Like, like, I believe my area was how it is for a reason. Beef I've got is man having beef with me, innit? I've got defense mechanism, and and the best form of defense is attack. Now today's story is about a man who had the world at his feet. Gavin Grant was born on the 27th of March 1984. He grew up on the Stonebridge Park estate in northwest London. Stonebridge suffers from high rates of violent crime. It regularly tops Brent's crime tables and has a serious gun problem. So Gavin was a talented footballer. Due to his belief in his own ability, he put all his eggs in one basket, which was football. That was his way out of the hood. This dream, however, took a brutal setback when he was dropped from the Watford Academy at the age of 16. He was at the age of adolescence with his hormones all over the place, which is especially dangerous in a place like Stonebridge where other opportunities to make money are through crime. Plenty of explanations for teenage turmoil are available. It's normal for teenagers to assert their independence and explore their limits, taking risks, breaking rules and rebelling against their parents while still relying on them for support and protection. This was sadly the case for Gavin. He and his friends residing in the Stonebridge Park estate formed a gang known as Thugs of Stonebridge. They called themselves the Suspect Gang. It was led by gang leader Damien Williams. This lifestyle choice by Gavin entailed living the high life of selling drugs, living lavish and gangland shootings on rival crews. They say money is the root of all evil. As for all money focused gangs, those at the bottom get envious of those at the top regardless if they are part of the same team or not. Now, Fugs of Stonebridge member Leon Labastidi, also known as Playboy, was a known drug dealer in the state. He was rumoured to have been involved in a burglary where he and two other accomplices robbed Romaine White, which is another Fugs of Stonebridge member, for his drugs and money. Not too long after, White informed Fugs of Stonebridge members that Playboy had robbed him. Damien Williams, being a boss, saw this as an act of treason and ordered to have Playboy killed because of his involvement. Now both Gavin Grant and Gareth Downey were tasked with the job of finding Playboy and killing him. Gavin along with Gareth gunned down the former friend Leon Labastidi aka Playboy outside his mother's house in Mordaunt Road on the Stonebridge estate in June 2004. Now this caused gun crime in the borough of Brent to drastically rise in such a short span over 30 plus shootings were recorded from 2004 till 2005. One of those incidences involving Damien Williams, the boss of Fugs of Stonebridge and friend of Gavin Grant being ambushed while sitting in his car when two rival gang members approached him from both angles and sprayed his vehicle. Luckily he had survived the attempted murder. After the assassination of Playboy, this led to many tit for tat shootings from rival gang members who had previous affiliations with Playboy. No one was charged for his murder at the moment due to lack of witnesses coming forth. However, that wouldn't stop people from exposing who his killers were. One individual, Sean Sephanies, aka Fuzzy, was a prominent figure in the Kingsbury area. He was rumoured to have posted threatening letters through several Fugs of Stonebridge members' letterboxes to expose them for what they had done. This wouldn't sit well with many members, leading to Fugs of Stonebridge members to look for Sean. Now Jamal Moore aka Footage was a Kensal Green Boy member and Church Road affiliate. Now at about 11.30pm on January evening in 2005, Gavin Grant and fellow Fugs of Stonebridge members went on a ride out looking for Sean. Sean had been celebrating at a family party near Wilsdon Green in North London along with Jamal Moore. Sean left the party, driven off in a taxi. Grainy CCTV footage recovered later by police showed four hooded Fugs of Stonebridge members walking in darkness towards the house. The men then see a taxi pass. They then move off camera, continuing towards the house. They had come for Sean, but once there, spotted 24-year-old Jamal Moore and turned on him instead. They opened fire. 16 shots were fired, peppering the silver Renault as he got out to get some beer from a shop near Wilsdon Green. 
Jamal Moore was hit in the chest and rolled down the hill. He called 999 on his mobile phone. I need an ambulance, quick he groaned. I've been shot, I'm in the back garden, quick, please I'm dying, please help. He's then heard naming one of the shooters. It was Rufus, you know, Rufus shot me. Rufus' real name, Roberto Parchment, was a known gunman in Stonebridge. Now after the shooting, Spider, real name Darren Mathurin, drove the car away from the crime scene and set fire to burn evidence. But his hair got caught on fire along with his legs. He was immediately rushed to hospital and later nicked for his involvement. Now in 2005, Gavin Grant, while juggling two different lives, managed to catch a break in his football career. He first signed for a non-league club, Tutin and Mitchum, before being signed by Gillingham, who were a League One side, where the league's top 100 earners earned around £7,000 per week. Gavin was finally a professional footballer while being responsible for the murder of two men. Gavin managed to make 10 appearances for Gillingham and score one goal before he later joined Millwall, a famous club from South East London known best for their bloody football hooligan culture and rivalry with West Ham. Now in 2008, while playing for Millwall, Gavin Grant was arrested and tried for the murder of Jamal Moore. Now remember how Spider was arrested for his involvement where well, he was sentenced to 22 years for the murder of Jamal Moore. However, he later agreed to testify in court to decrease his life sentence on various charges. BBC News stated that four people are facing life sentences after Britain's first black supergrass gave evidence against them during a number of trials at the Old Bailey. Now what makes Spider case unusual is that his deal came after he had been convicted. In December 2008 of murdering Jamal Moore and had been jailed for life with a minimum tariff of 22 years, he subsequently did a deal with the police and the Crown Prosecution Service and his sentence was reduced to 8 years. In return, he agreed to give evidence at several trials. Now during the trial of Darren Matherin aka Spider, he claimed he was only the getaway driver in the killing of Jamal Moore, naming Romaine White and Parchment aka Rufus as the gunman both from Kenton in North London denied murder, however they were sentenced to a minimum terms of 28 years and 27 years respectively. Gavin Grant was cleared of conspiracy to murder. Now Roberto Parchment, 24 years old, originally convicted of Moore's murder was found guilty again. Following a retrial brought about by the involvement of Supergrass Spider, the first use of Operation Trident, he was jailed for life again and ordered to serve the remainder of his 28 year sentence. However, Romaine White, 24, who had been previously convicted of conspiracy to murder, was cleared by a 10 to 2 majority verdict. Now Gavin returned to his footballing career. Millwall would sell him to Wickenby Wanderers, who would sign on a two year contract. He only played 10 times in two years and then later became a free agent. He got so desperate to get back to his footballing career that he signed for Bradford on a non-contract basis on the 26th of February 2010. He got bags of potential and is a good finisher, said former England manager, albeit caretaker, Peter Taylor, who managed Grant at Wickenby and Bradford and said, he's got an eye for goal, he's quick, he's an athlete and he'll only get better. Unfortunately for Taylor, Gavin Wooden, as he was later arrested for the murder of Leon Labastidi, aka Playboy, in July 2010, Gavin Grant along with boss Damien Williams and Gareth Downey all stood trial for his murder. Now Super Snitch Spider once again gave evidence. He stood looking pale and tired, frequently chewing his lower lip. He said that after learning of the shooting of Playboy, he went to Damien Williams' house. I went inside and saw Gavin coming out of the bathroom. He'd been washing gunpowder off and water was dripping off his head. He saw me and the first thing he said was, is he dead? I said, I think so, he's on the floor. Gavin Grant, 26, who was still listed as a midfielder on Bradford City, was handed a 25 year sentence. Gareth Downey, 25 years old from Birmingham, received a similar term for murder, as did Damien Williams, who was 32, of Southwark, South London, for conspiracy to murder. Now, let me talk you through this famous picture of Fugs of Stonebridge members. Spider, centre with face obscured to hide his identity, with Damien Williams far left, the one with the tie, and Gavin Grant second from right in the Czech shirt, who was later jailed for murder. 
Now in 2009, Stonebridge member K Cope, who later became one of the UK's biggest ever rappers, dropped a track titled Are You Alone Fam, dedicated to dissing Super Snitch Spider, real name Darren Mathurin. The song sits at 10 million views today. K Cope made it clear that he was never welcome home and if he was ever seen, he would be murdered on sight. Some of the lyrics read, I'm too street for you halfway crooks, get guilty and try and pass their book, spill beans cause their arse is shook, real G's go and read that book, you feel me, snitch. Now Grant's conviction was a stunning success for Trident officers, as he was sent down Grant was seen to be weeping. Early months before he had been playing professional football, trying to resurrect a career that had stored when he was 16. Because he hadn't made it with Watford, he went back to Stonebridge and hung around with friends and family there and got into wrong things. Then after the shootings, he tried to sort himself out, but it was too late, far too late. And that brings me to the end of the story of Gavin Grant. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe as it goes a long way. For uncensored and longer content of these videos, subscribe to my Patreon.